the destruction of this scale is dedicated to all of the women whose lives have been ruined and ruled by it. This is for us, ladies. Safety first. Oops. I'm tired of you stealing my life. I'm tired of you making me feel if I'm good or bad. I'm tired of you deciding how my day is. No more of you deciding my life. No more of you stealing life from me. This is it. I take back my life. I'm in control. I decide if I'm good or bad. Not you. I deserve a great life. This is about me. This isn't about you. <sighs> Don't! Don't! Don't make me be that person! Don't! Don't! Please don't! I'm asking for something that's very simple for me! Back up! This is my bubble! Mine! Right here, right now! Please back up! I am the feminist who is out to ruin your life. I am the feminist who is ruining your perfectly respectful marriage by suggesting Audre Lorde to the book club that your wife attends. And yes, I am the one who convinced her to get that shorter haircut that you pretend to like but don't really like. I am the feminist who is pushing your daughter down the slippery slope of sluthood by giving her a high five when she says she keeps her own supply of condoms. And incidentally, I've tried to turn her bisexual gay by re recommending some dental dams. Yes, I am that hysterical feminist who demands trigger warnings on scenes of rape and this is a okay. list of the things that we're working towards. Now, if you would shut the fuck up for the 50th billion times, these are things that we agree on. These are things that we're agreeing on. And these are things that you've actually all got skewed fucking views on. You think that feminists are trying to take away your fucking rights, but it, as a matter of fact, what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to work on the same things that you're working on, but except the fact that you're so too busy. You're just too busy hating women. You're you can't room. fucking you're see fucking that we're trying to. Yeah, we're actually trying to actually know. work on those same situations. I can't imagine. Like, change in the fucking world. Just actually shut the fuck up. Your website, your fucking website's a hate website against feminists. You're not creating any change. You're not working towards anything. Let me just talk about how much you hate us for no reason. Feminists do not want you to have to make alimony payments. In The Walking Dead, it is clear that women are badass, right? Right. They're brave, heroic, but most importantly, they represent complete, absolute dedication to shaving their armpits. <laughs> Somehow, in post-apocalyptic America, these women find razors and shaving cream while scavenging for food and bludgeoning zombies. These women don't just survive, they survive with no underarm stubble. So, shave my legs, shave my armpits, shave my vagina, I'll be smoother than a newborn rat. I'll have less hair than a prepubescent boy scout. If I can't shave it, I'll bleach it. If I can't bleach it, I'll wax it. If I can't wax it, I will pay thousands of dollars to have a tiny laser beam kill all of my hair follicles so I'll never grow body hair again. So how to be a gamer girl in four easy steps. One, choose a gender neutral or masculine username for your online identity. The hordes of cisgender, heterosexual, and mostly white men you'll be gaming with are incredibly sensitive to the possibility of a female within their midst and are more likely to consider you part of the scenery than a peer on the battlefield. If you started gaming when you were young, naive and starry-eyed, and have the misfortune of an unchangeable feminine username like Jigglypuff Sparkle Fairy, <laughs> prepare your defenses ahead of time. At the first question of your gender, tell them you are a lesbian, because in gamer jargon, lesbian is synonymous with man, and there's no room to be feminine here. Do you have it? I looked it up in my system, but unfortunately, I'm not coming across any any of Paul Sheldon's books that we have here in the store. Would you like to see if I could order one for you, possibly? Oh, you should have them here. He's very popular. Well, we're probably Paul just Paul Sheldon. 
He looks like he just sold out. Misery. Have you ever read the Misery novels? I'm They're very good. I'm not familiar with Misery. I'm more of a history kind of guy. How can you not know Misery? You work here. How can you not know? I, look, Paul Sheldon writes the Misery novels. They're very good. I'm looking for the latest one. Misery's Child. I really need that to complete my collection. And I really think you need to have that here. I don't, Misery. I don't have culture that supports rapists. Are you, like, of course we live in a rape culture. Like, of course we do. This is a rape culture. What we live in today is a rape culture. And that's what needs to stop. And what does the media and our politicians do to help rapists? Hello, More lenient sentences, um, a slap on the wrist, which happens all the time. Okay, give me some examples of that. You know, I'm not, I, I'm not here to give you specific examples, Lauren, but I know that you know, and I know from experience from watching you, that you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I don't, and I don't need to go into details uh, because I don't have any specific. Am that ice queen cunt who responds to your street side compliment with her most frigid, I didn't need your comment. I am out to infringe upon your rights and freedoms and extra room on the subway bestowed upon you for having a penis. Okay, well, when you do that, we're never going to have a civil discussion. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to have a civil discussion. I want to call you assholes. Yeah. By believing these ideas, you're inherently disrespectful of oh, so, color, so you don't... of women, oh, really? of gay people, oh, really? of people with depression. How are, how, how, are we, how are we inherently disrespectful to those people? Because your policies hurt us, and you're white assholes, white bros, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry dudes. that I'm white, and that automatically means I'm... So a white guy is not allowed to have any opinions? You, um, well, you have shitty opinions. Like, I mean, you're allowed to be as rude as you want, but... Yeah, exactly. At the end of the day, And I you're mean, allowed to be as privileged and much of a dick bag as you want. <laughs> Two! Become an expert in everything. Complete every side quest. Earn every achievement. Be prepared for any reference or joke, because if you're not... Thank you. I say no Trump. No KK, no fascist USA. 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 No Trump. No KK, no fascist